Uncle Snap. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to go around your pole. I think he's on the motor. Hey, what's going on, saltwater soldiers? Today is a special day for me because my daughter, we hadn't fished in a long time, kind of traumatized her on a trip <laughs> where we got stuck and we fished all day, sunburn, blah, blah, blah. But she wanted to come fishing uh, and I'm gonna teach her popping corks today. It's been a long time since she's fished. So uh, we're gonna get on some popping corks, work some uh, popping corks in this little marsh and then we're gonna make a run and try to go and catch some trout. So right now is just gonna kind of learn and uh, try to land some fish on my popping cork. So let's get to it. All right, so here's our setup. We got a popping cork, probably like a two foot leader with the shrimp, I mean with the shrimp, with the uh, trouble hook. And we're gonna put a shrimp on here. So this is what we're throwing. Uh, this, I, I use this little weighted one. That way she can get some distance on it. I do have the woody uh, popping cork. Uh, that way, if she can't throw this one, we'll switch it over to the woody one. But let's uh, grab a shrimp. I'm going to show you. Usually, if you just put your hand in there and grab them like that, you'll end up with one. And then, see right here? Mm -hmm. This is pretty much where you want to hook right there. And if not, if you're having trouble, like, them falling off or whatever, right in the middle. You see that little poop line there? Mm -hmm. You're gonna put it right in the middle, right there. Either way is good. Uh, this way, the swim, the shrimp usually swims a little better. See, that's right there on that horn. It doesn't hurt them, then they can, they can live. And to cast this, hold on. Let me, uh, let me. All right. Now to cast this, you want it about right here, and then. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your, your rod like this, like a little, this is like your trigger, I guess. And you're gonna grab the string. And then once you do that, you'll open the bell. If you don't, then this is just gonna fall out. So you're holding the bell, you're holding the rod like this. And then basically where you want to throw, you're gonna do the pole like this, hold it over here and look where you wanna throw and end the pole like that. And then you just let it sit. And then what you're gonna do you're gonna reel up the slack a little bit and see how it pulled the popping cork mm -hmm. just a little bit. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get it to where you can make a little bit of noise. And sometimes you can be very, very, very noisy. And sometimes like just a little bit, you know, just like that will get their attention. And as soon as you see this popping cork go underwater, you want your pole here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set the hook, not like this, you're gonna, like that. You're gonna really like, I guess, put something into it to try to, try to set the hook and we're gonna we're gonna fish all this area there should be some bait moving in here so we're gonna fish all this area the same thing every time you cast just put pull your string a little bit and you could you can do it like a uh, continuous you can do big pops it really doesn't hurt the shrimp because the shrimp's just floating around on a, on a little string down there what it does, it'll, it'll, the fish will get uh, excited and then they'll, I guess, kind of, you know what I'm saying, like hear, hear the shrimp moving around because it makes a little popping sound. And as well as like, we probably got to move a little closer, I think, because it looks like the, the tide is coming away. But just keep your line, like, you know what I'm saying, to where if it goes underwater, you're pretty much 100% ready to set the hook. So that's your rifle. So I just let it sit? Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to we'll wait here for a little bit and then we'll pull it up, check our shrimp, and we'll cast over here. And we'll cast over there, cast over there. And then we're just going to try here just because the wind's blocked. It's a little easier to cast. 
and then um, we'll start moving around but we'll try here first and you want to keep this hand right here so you can tighten it a little bit right there right there and then and what you're doing okay now you're just waiting for your popping cork to go down you see that swirl right there mm -hmm. that's a fish and if you look like on the grass line you'll see their tails or you'll see the the ridge of their back like oh, they just pop up? yeah see it looks like a stick or something mm -hmm. Just watch your popping cork. It's it's gonna go underwater. And what you're gonna do is reel it in. No, no, no. You're what you're gonna do is you're gonna reel and yank, and then once it goes down though. Yeah, then you'll feel it like pulling, and you just hold it there for a second. And every time you want to reel down, and then pull up, reel down, and pull up. Every time you're putting your pole back down, you're you're reeling in the slack. And every time you're picking it up, you're just pulling it towards him. And you can guide the fish too. So like if it's coming this way towards this motor, then all you do is you turn the, the pole this way and you start start doing the same thing this way or the opposite way. But that's a good sign that they're, they're actually, uh, you can see them when they're moving. I'm gonna try to put just one out just pull it to the right. Yeah, there you go. Pull it this way. Pull it a little bit more. There you go. First fish. And it's a red. It's a baby red. They fight pretty good, huh? Yeah. Kind of hit. Barely hit them. Right on the lips. Okay, put this on here. And then see that that's a rod holder right there. Just put your rod in there. Yeah, just slide it in there. It's at an angle. Yeah, there you go. And we'll measure them up. And usually what you the way you'll measure a fish is with the the nose touching that. But we know he's kind of small. Unless so he, the nose will go that way first? Yeah. So he's 17 and a half. 17 and, a half. and we got to get a pitch which over it and I'll let you let him go I got me a one spot red fish first catch of the day it's Seven. 17 and a half inches there you go okay. and you're gonna release it all you're gonna do is the throw back? no 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 you, you're gonna open both of those handles over the water All right, keep reeling. Is it coming or is it? All right, now, 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 pull it back. There you go. That's a flounder. Pull straight up. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Right? That's a, tr uh, if you get you a trout, that's a slam. A lot of people go their whole lifetime never, never catching that. For real? Yeah. Here, we're going to give it some slack. I'm going to lay it down on the, on, on the bottom. Like I think it's a, it loose? Yeah. I think it's a keeper, too. Boom. Oh. It's a little fat guy for 15. All right, well, let's get some pictures and we'll let them go too. Okay, I got me a 15 inch flounder. We're gonna let this one go. Okay, tell me when. Go ahead. A little puppy drum, about 13 and a half. That's a trout, that's a trout. It's a little guy. I knew it. Now I need to get you uh, cast in that same spot. So that way you can get you a little, you can get you a slam today. All right. 
So look, there's a whole reason why we practice today. She's about to show off. First try on the camera. Everybody be quiet. Boom. She's going for her slam. Don't don't muscle it. Don't muscle it. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. This might be your slam right here. This might be your slam. Don't don't yank it. Just nice and easy. There you go. Reel it up. Re pull it. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it. No. Pull it up. Pull it up. There you go. Yeah. And then bring it this way. Bring them. Bring them this way. Bam. That's your slam. Look at that. People try this their whole life. Look at that, that's a pretty trout. Give me the fish grip. Nice and easy, nice and easy. No, he's, he's on there. And this time you're gonna flip him in the boat. In the boat? Like yeah. put him in here? Yeah, just flip. I want him. That was a really good throw. Oh, dang. Yeah, and I was recording that. That was a rookie, rookie move there. <laughs> Let you show me up a little bit. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, I knocked my camera out of the way. Oh snap. Uh oh. I'm about to go around your pole. I think he's on the motor. Oh. Can you lift the motor? Lift it? Yeah. Yeah, teamwork. That might be a red. I got that drag on him. He came pretty easy. Got to lower the motor. Ugh. Huh? No, it's good. Nice red. I should have let you fight it. <laughs> That's a one dot. He has plenty of energy. He does not want to see this boat. You want to net him? Put it in. Scoop him. Yeah, he's heavy. There you go. Look at that. Go ahead. Move the net. Oh, I thought he was doing that. Oh. Woo. Look at that. I bet you anything, it's about 27. That's a keeper. That's a. Uh, all right. Look at that nose on the board. 26 and a quarter. Oh no. 26 and a half. Little rat red. I saw my shrimp jump out of the water. Yeah. Uh oh, might be a nice trout. That's a nice trout. Get the net, get the net. I'm all twisted up on your line. 
Go on this side right here. I'm going to bring them up and then scoop them. Ready? One, two. There you go. Go ahead. Put them in the boat. All right. Now I'm all tangled up. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's a nice puppy drum. When you get to the boat, just pick them up and I'm gonna scoop them. Nice. Let's see if he'll make it. I doubt he will. Picture right over there, you get a picture with this one too. You damn near caught every species. Three and a half, or 13 and a half. That's a big trout. Nice trout, nice trout. Scoop them. All right, put them up here. Ooh, that was a big girl. Mm -hmm. Flip the net inside out. Flip it over. Oh, Other way. way. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Turn it over. There you go. Now pick it up and and wiggle it. There you go. Nice trout. That's what's up. That's probably one I lost. <laughs> Running low on bait. What we got? Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. Turn it this way, turn it this way. That's a nice trout. I got it, I got it. Nice one. Uh, right at the end. It's all right. You're a fisherman now. Look at that. My new saltwater soldier right there. <laughs> she scared a little blood. Nice trout. All right, saltwater soldier. So we're pretty much going to end the video here. We got to go and clean some fish, clean the boat. Uh, have my beautiful daughter with me today. Great experience for me as well as for her. I know uh, just making memories. She actually got a slam today and I got it on video, which is amazing because not a lot of people actually are able to uh, catch the slam, especially like, you know, just out fishing, uh, you know, just randomly or whatever. So she got the slam. She's the only one that got the flounder. I didn't get a flounder. Uh, she started off catching the redfish. Uh, we all, we ended up with what, one big redfish and then a couple of trout. And uh, with this video, we're gonna do another part of a catch and cook. I'm gonna show you how she likes her fish. <laughs> so, it's, so we're gonna make another video. I really appreciate everybody like, subscribing, uh, watching the video, leaving comments. Uh, until next time, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness. A reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious. You think you're with my time? You're delirious, mysterious because you are behind a fake exterior. Inferior. You know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me. This ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words. You can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last and to believe in what you got. It was built to last. Yeah. Now that I've been put through hell, I never got anyone's help, I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't
never slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away I could play a million mind games, but instead I say Something not illogical, something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go, make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible If you just believe, you could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind I gotta make it, I'm saving every day to 